Well, well, well. Hey guys, I hope you're having a stupendous day today. If you love the Yankees, but you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe, especially if you want to be kept up to date with the latest in New York Yankees news or just for plain old New York Yankees discussion. According to Mr. John Heyman, according to Mr. John Heyman, the Yankees are back in talks with starting pitcher Jordan Montgomery. I got to be honest with you. I got to be honest. If you're shocked about this, if you think that, what, why, you haven't been paying attention then. Very early on in the offseason, the Yankees wanted Montgomery. Jeff Passan mentioned that the Yankees were in love with Montgomery. Maybe not in love, but they loved him. The, that feeling wasn't mutual. It wasn't. Montgomery said that there's no hard feelings between him and the Yankees anymore. I guess there was, but he didn't say that he would be interested in coming here either. The Yankees were the ones and have been the ones who have always been interested and who have been desiring to bring back Montgomery since Jordan proved them wrong. He proved them wrong. Now, Blake Snell, a supposed Yankee target, off the board, finally, finds a home in San Francisco. Garrett Cole going down. Mike Lorenzen signing with the Texas freaking Rangers, a lower tier starting pitcher. Goes and signs with the Texas Rangers, a Yankee target. Yankees were linked to him just a week ago. And now he's gone. He went to Texas. Montgomery wanted to go back to Texas. I don't think that's happening anymore. I didn't think it was happening prior to the Lorenzen signing. I, I don't think it's happening at all. So the Yankees talking to Montgomery again, that shouldn't shock you at all. Not one bit. There's a gap, according to Heyman, there... There is a gap between the Yankees and Montgomery. Now, wherever that gap lies, we don't know. Whether that's money, years, we don't know right now. But they are at least talking to him. And Montgomery just about went a week ago, a couple weeks ago. Monty was talking to Boston. Nothing materialized. Nothing. So now. Boris is seeing his other clients like Chapman, Bellinger, Snell off the market. Montgomery's still there. After his fantastic playoff run with the Texas Rangers, pitching well against Houston, pitching well overall for the Rangers last year, the Yankees really want. Montgomery. It's just, does Montgomery want to be a Yankee? Now, apparently Monty wants an Aaron Nola type deal. I don't think he's getting that. If Blake Snell, the reigning Cy Young Award winner, didn't get that, I don't think he's getting that. And the Yankees, I don't think they're going to be willing to give him that either. However, I wouldn't be shocked if they signed him to Basically, a similar deal that Blake Snell got, maybe a two year deal for, for 40 million, not 60. And then he has an opt out after the first year, and all it cost you was some money. Yes, the luxury tax, but all it cost you was some money. It doesn't cost you 
international bonus money. It doesn't cost you draft picks like it would have if you were to sign Blake Snell. Monty just cost you money, and he's going to cost you less money than Blake Snell would have. So take that for what it's worth. But the Yankees' interest in Montgomery isn't shocking at all. They've been interested in him this whole time. It was just the feeling was that the feeling between the two wasn't mutual. But now you're Monty and you're familiar with the Yankees. You pitched there most of your career. You don't really have many options. And it's like, you know what? Why don't I just go pitch over there for a year? Test again next season. Maybe go back to Texas. Maybe. So listen, you guys, let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. We have channel memberships in the description if that interests you. The Yankees being back in on Jordan Montgomery, re-engaging with Jordan Montgomery, talking once again with Jordan Montgomery should not shock you at all. If it does, you're being a little silly. You're being a little silly. Now, will anything happen? I don't know. I can't tell the future. I have no idea. So listen, thank you guys for watching. This is Joe, signing out. And to all of our channel members here at The Shift, thank you guys. It means a lot.